Hi guys, today we are going to have a look at how to install QGIS. So, before we get started on downloading the program and installing it, I just want to show you something on Firefox, which is how to decide where downloads are stored to. So if we go up to this little burger menu up here, then we can go to our options, and we'll see here that we have in the general section, a download section, and it says save files to, and this will be our downloads folder on Windows, or we can select always ask me where to save files. I prefer the latter of these because it means I've got more control over where things are being downloaded to, but if you haven't changed that, then your files will go to downloads. You can also set a different default, uh, default folder if you'd like to, so you can choose a different one um, but personally I like to be asked where things are going to go to so I'm going to leave that like that and then we're going to have a look at downloading QGIS. So onward and upward and let's get started with downloading QGIS. So I'm just going to use the search bar up here and type in QGIS download pretty easy takes us right to the download page of QGIS so we are feeling lucky today. And here we'll get a bunch of different um, QGIS options. Now I'm working on a 64-bit machine, uh, so I'd really like the QGIS standalone installer. Um, there is also, for advanced users, the option to install OSGEO4W network installer, and that installs some extra things that you might want to use um, if you're getting into more advanced stuff. So that allows you to install stuff like GDAL um, or anything else like that. But if you just want QGIS, you don't need to worry about that and you can go for the 64-bit installer or the 32-bit installer depending on what machine you've got. Now for the Mac, if anybody is using a Mac, you can do the drop down here and the Mac installer will give you more instructions as to how to do that. We're just going to have a look at Windows for today, um, but if you are using a Mac, get in touch via the comments if you run into any trouble. So our QGIS standalone installer, the version that I'm going for is 2.18, which is the most recent version. If you want to go for an older version, you can click up here on all releases. So older releases of QGIS are available there, and you can get plugins there. I'm just going to go with the standard one and click download. And here we can see that I've got a .exe file that's going to be saved and it's 361 megabytes. So I'll save that and as we said before it's going to ask me where I'm going to save it to. It defaults to my downloads folder and I'm quite happy with that at the moment. So that's in my favourites, I can get back to it quite easily. So I'll save that and we'll see how long it's going to take. Currently it says three hours, so I think I'll pause the video and we'll come back to it once it has downloaded. Oof, that took a while, but here it is. It's the second in my download list now because I downloaded something else in the interim. But here we can see we've got QGIS OSGO for W and it's version 2.18.6 and this is our setup file. So in order to get to our setup file I'm going to open the containing folder and here we can see where that file is. Just going to double click that and it's going to ask if I would like this program to make changes to my computer. Yes I would. You may need if you have odd permissions on a Windows machine to right click this and run as administrator that might actually get around some of those permissions problems. But I've hit run and we should shortly see QGIS begin to install. So I'm going to hit yes again and there we go. So it's going to verify our installer whatever that means make sure that we're all good and here we are so the version is 2.18.6 and it's last palmas I'm going to hit next to continue 
this is the license agreement I'm pretty happy with QGIS's license so I will agree and then it's just going to put it into a default destination folder QGIS 2.18 I'm happy with that don't need to change it I don't want any extra data sets in there that's fine so I'm just going to go with install and you can see here at the bottom it tells you how much space is required so 1.4 gig I've got plenty of room on this machine and off we go things are being installed so the folder gets created and we should have QGIS 2.18 installed pretty soon it does take a little while so just be patient while it's uh, doing what it needs to do and there we go we've got the finish button so I'm gonna hit finish and that should mean that QGIS is now installed on our machine. So I'm going to go over to my startup and there I can see I'm on Windows 7 here. So Windows 8, Windows 10 users, this might be slightly different. But you should have QGIS desktop available. And I'm going to click on that. The program might take a little while to start. And there it is. QGIS has appeared. And we'll start with this screen. It comes up with a tip. You can turn off the tips right there if you'd like to, but I'm just going to OK that. Recent projects window, I don't have any recent projects because this is a fresh install. And then we've got the various panels, the browser panel and the layers panel. So that's how to install QGIS. If you do have any difficulties or if you're working on a Mac, please get in touch via the comments and I will do what I can to help you out. Happy mapping!